you might be wondering which way is the best way to start the hard mode. You of course heard about the mimics, of course heard about the stormbow, um, heard about the starry veil, but there are ways that are consistent and always give you easy, strong loot without much risk. So let me show them all. Milk is secret to humans. Macbeth say milk make humans strong. So the first way is to get the old ones army event going before beating the wall of flesh, which is of course before entering the hard mode. You need to farm the defenders tokens easily. The pre-hard mode old ones army isn't much of a challenge. You just need the sun fury um, lighting stuff and you are ready to go. So the perfect amount of the coins that you want to get to hard mode is 100 because with them you can buy all the equipment from the tavern keeper NPC. Uh, the squire's set, apprentice set, huntress set and the monks set, which are armor sets for uh, all classes. And then the canes, flame barrels, ballista, explosive and lighting. Each set will give you the bonus summon and class damage and also change the way that canes work. So with the monk set, we can see that we have increased max number of sentries and lighting aura can now crit and strike faster. Let me buy the lighting cane and we can place three of them and they will attack much faster with this set. All these sets are basically comparable with the titanium set, but instead of the mining in the hard mode, you just need to farm the old ones army event 25 times in the pre-hard mode, which is a way easier thing to do. The next easy way to get your items is the King Slime. So some items in this game are biome only drops. For example, the Amarok is the Ice Biome exclusive drop. To get the biome dependent drops, you need to kill the enemy in the correct biome and this enemy, whichever it will be, can drop you this item. So we take the King Slime summon into the hard mode to summon him at a desired biome because King Slime is easy to fight with, has low HP and spawns a lot of blue slimes. And every single one of those slimes has a chance to drop the biome only item, such as the Amarok and Yeles, which are the strong hard mode melee yoyos. The next thing you can do, especially if you are playing mage, is to get your fish rod, get your fisherman set, get your fishing accessories and head to the underground hollow. There is a small chance that you will fish the crystal serpent there, which is a very powerful weapon. So powerful that you can even kill the duke fish on with it. Also, if you are playing, for example, melee only, you can go to the hard mode crimson and fish up the blade tank there, which is a pretty powerful mobbing sword. So next point on our list is the mimics farming. To spawn a mimic, you need a chest, a basic, basic chest and the key of night or key of light, which you, of course, make from the souls. You can get the souls in the underground hollow or crimson slash corruption biome. If you put the key to the chest, the chest will automatically turn into a mimic. They are pretty tough to fight, but it shouldn't be a problem, especially if you have um, something like the crystal severed in your inventory. And you just, you know, kill them. <laughs> they have pretty powerful drops, such as the storm bow for rangers and the Banga Hanks for melee. While we are talking about the blade tank, uh, we also need to talk about the Icor debuff. So you need Icor to reduce the um, enemy's defense, for example the mech boss's defense, and the Icor debuff reduces uh, this defense by 10, which is, you know, a pretty good damage burst. Of course, you don't need to use only the blade tank as your Icor source. You also can craft the golden showers, which, you know, is a way easier and better way to do it. Also, you can craft Icor bullets, Icor arrows or the Icor flasks for your melee weapons. And if you want to know more about the Terraria's most powerful items, guides or whatever, you can always subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of videos like this and, you know, <laughs> you can check them out. 
and also fix my subscriber ratio, which is pretty, yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> so the next one is quite interesting one, and it's recommended only if you are doing the melee run, um, because you will spawn the goblin army in hard mode. And why? Because hard mode goblin army has a new enemy. This enemy is the goblin summoner, and this enemy drops shadow flame items. The one you are looking for is the Shadow Flame Knight, which is a very fast ranged melee weapon that inflicts the Shadow Flame debuff. It's basically a boss killer, and if you want uh, your melee character to just melt the mech bosses, you know, just go for the Shadow Flame Knight. The Hard Mode also has some mounts. There are only three mounts that are good. Um, there is the Hell Horse that you can spawn with the Gold School. And Gold School is an exclusive master mode drop from the Wall of Flesh. This mount can go pretty fast, can double jump, and it needs some time to charge up for it to run at the top speed. But while it's running at the top speed, it can go through enemies, damaging them. The Unicorn mount is exactly the same, but it's a rare drop because you need to kill a lot of unicorns to get it. And there is also the best mount in the game, which I made a video on, the Queen Slime mount, which is the Queen Slime drop. This mount is very agile, can fly, and yeah, basically it's the best mount in the entire game. Most of the accessories that you will need, you will get from the Mimics. The Mimics that we are talking about are the small chest-like Mimics located in the underground biomes. They will drop you a lot of accessories that will be crucial for your playthrough, but they will not grant you one type of accessory, which are the wings. And the best pre megbosses wings that you can get are the frozen wings. To make frozen wings, you need the ice feather. To get the ice feather, you need to kill the ice golem, and to, get, to find the ice golem, you need to be lucky enough to get Blizzard in the ice biome. Then you just search for him. I recommend using Hunter Potion because, you know, uh, the visibility in Blizzard is <laughs> a slightly reduced and just kill him. He has a lot of HP, but if you place him smart and get some powerful weapon like the Crystal Serpent, um, you can melt him away without any risk. He drops the Ice Feather, you get the best pre mech bosses wings. So yeah. That's, that's, that's basically it. That's, that's, that's how you start the hard mode. That's how you crash the hard mode. <laughs> See you in the next one.